Hey, bless y'all. Brother Daniel here. Hey, I'm coming to y'all with a video because this is the hot topic in the nation right now. Because you know people love they football. All y'all know my history of playing football for a profession for years, okay? But I want to talk about something. So, it might have been a month ago. I was talking, not a month ago, about a couple months ago, three, four months. I was talking to old teammates, college guys, even a pro guy, and I made a statement. This was when, this had to, it might have been almost a year ago, when all of this was coming out and they was talking about bringing a vaccine and all of that. And I made the statement, I said, you're going to see something. I said, you're going to really see the character of guys. And what do I mean by the character of them? You're going to see who is going to sell themselves, or you're going to see Hey, hey, y'all be quiet. Y'all going to see who going to sell they self or you going to see who is going to stand tall. Because I said right now, if you're going to continue to play in the NFL, you're going to sell yourself. You see, what y'all don't understand is they ain't finna force y'all. Just like the book of Revelation say, they're going to give you a cause to receive a mark. The key word is that they're going to give you a cause to receive a mark in your right hand and your forehead. And you're not seeing nothing but the prelude to this stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Look at what's going on. If you look at the stipulations they give, they give the players right now, the fines and threatening teams of forfeiting and all of this stuff that they doing in the NFL right now. And then you got a few players that's coming out like I ain't taking it. They contacting lawyers and they doing all this stuff, right? You can't be around a team. You got to get this done and that done and this. It's like, okay, how do you even play? How do you even play? You see? And not only that, you got coaches out here, you got players out here who took the vaccine and now testing positive for COVID, which guess what? You ain't gonna see that nowhere. That's the stuff that they ban, you see? But let's consider something. The NFL is made up of well over 90 plus percent of the so-called African American. If you look at your history on how you got here, we ain't finna go too deep into that, but really, you Israel, you don't even know it. You are the most high chosen people, and you don't even know it. And you got some of them, well, I know, I know. Oh, okay, you know. But here's my question to you. My question to you is this. Are you going to continue to fuel their fire? Because that's all you're doing. Pull up Ezekiel chapter 15. Listen to this. Listen to this. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. Go ahead and read. This is a short chapter. I want to say it's about eight verses. Go ahead and read it. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, uh -huh. Son of man, what is the vine tree more than any tree? Mm -hmm. Or than a branch which is among the trees of the forest? Okay. What is the vine tree among any tree, right? That's a question he's asking him. Or the vine tree that's amongst the forest. We're talking about a vine tree. Keep going. Shall wood be taken thereof to do any work? Mm. Or will men take a pin of it to hang any vessel thereon? Okay, so he's asked you the question. Is it strong enough that, is it a hard, strong wood that you can take it and build something with it? The answer is no. Can men take it and even hang a peg, okay? Because it's a vine tree, more like a grapevine. It, it doesn't have no stability in it, okay? It wasn't nothing from the start. But the only one that make that can do something with it and make it something is the Most High Yah. Keep reading. Behold, it is cast into the fire for fuel. It's cast where? Into the fire. Into the fire for fuel. So it fuels the fire, this wood, okay? Keep going. The fire devours both the ends of it, mm -hmm. and the midst of it is burned. Is it meat for any work? You hear that? The midst of it's burned. It burns both ends of it. So now you ask the question, is it meat for any work? Can it do any work at that point? Go ahead. Behold, when it was whole, it was meat for no work. When it was whole, it was meat for no work. Go ahead. How much less shall it be meat yet for any work when the fire had devoured it and it is burned? You see? So now the fire devoured it and it's burned. How much more can it be used for? Ain't nothing that could be done. You can't do nothing with ashes. It's the same thing the Messiah said. I want to say it's Matthew uh, uh, 15 or 13, one or two, when he said, when the salt loses its savor, what is it good for? It's good for nothing but thrown on the ground and trying under the foot. It lost its savor. Its purpose is done. Okay? Keep reading. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Elohim, mm -hmm. as the vine tree among the trees of the forest, yep. which I have given to the fire for fuel, so will I give the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Uh-huh. 
so will he give the inhabitants for Jerusalem for what? Fuel for this fire, yes, right? Sir. So fuel for this fire. The inhabitants of Jerusalem, this is Israel. Yes. He's telling you, you ain't gonna be nothing but fuel for fire. Consider this. Keep going. And I will set my face against them. Yep. They shall go out from one fire mm -hmm. and another fire shall devour you them. You hear that? So you're gonna go out from one fire, inhabitants of Jerusalem, Israel, all you players in the NFL that don't even know who you are, you're going to go out from one fire and get put in the next fire. Regardless, you're just going to be burnt to ashes upon ashes upon ashes. That's what's going to happen. Keep going. And you shall know that I am Yahweh when I set my face against them. And you're going to know who he is when he set his face against you. Keep reading. And I will make the land desolate because they have committed a trespass, say Yahweh. Go look, go look at the land today. Go look at the land today. It's desolate because the people ain't there. So my question to you is this. Aren't you tired of being fueled for they fire? These nations is the fire. But we the ones fueling it. The NFL's fire will go out when you leave. Oh, that's hard to do. Oh, man, that's hard to do. I get it. I played. I understand. You got your family at stake. You got a reputation. You got all of that. But I bet you this. Who is the one? Who is the few guys that's going to? Because I don't expect all y'all to do it because you ain't going to do it. Half y'all already done took the damn shot. But who is them guys that's going to stand tall that's in that league and say, you know what, I'm done. I will quit this today rather than let you inject something in me that I don't know what's in it. You ain't done no research on it. And you think I'm going to trust your research when you're the same ones that put all this mess in the Tuskegee experiment. You're the same ones that's been trying to off me and off my inheritance and off who I am for I don't know how many years. It's never been no love for no, for no, for no melanated man. Never. And you telling me you're going to go trust these people to syringe you? Or what they call it, take a jab? Mm -hmm. You're damn right they're going to take a jab. They're going to give your ass a uppercut and knock you smooth out because that's their whole agenda. Which one of you going to stand tall and stop being fueled for their fire? Because I, no, I got news for you. Guess what? They fire go out when you quit. The Most High took, Egypt, took, took Israel out of Egypt. And guess what? The, the most powerful country in the world, nation in the world at that point was Misraim. It was Egypt. But guess what? The Most High took the fuel for that fire out of Egypt. And guess what? That fire went out. That fire went out. The same thing that happened if y'all stand up and breathe it because it ain't no NFL without the melanated man. It ain't no sports league without us. So which one of you going to stand up and say, you know what? I'm done. I'm not letting them do that to me. Oh, you for your family. Oh, it's for this. Man, that's bullshit. And you know it. And you know it. You got jokers right down this road taking that jab and still coming up with this damn COVID. But I got news for you. When you're righteous, they're going to throw you in the fire anyway. Abraham got thrown in the fire. He didn't get scorched, though. He didn't get burned. Daniel got thrown in the lines then. And guess what? He didn't get burned. He didn't get eaten. The three Hebrew boys got thrown into a fiery furnace. They ain't get burned. You know who got burned? The nations. The ones who threw them in the furnace, they got burned. The ones who went, they went in there with Abraham because his whole heart, I forgot his name, uh, Haran or something, his whole heart wasn't with the Most High Yah. He got burned. Ashes. When Daniel came out the lines, then he turned around and, and, and the king, I think it was Darius, right? Yep. He turned around and threw all the other men in, the, in there and they got consumed by them lines immediately see when you stand on this truth when you stand on this faith the most high y'all got you when you gonna stop being fueled for they fire when you gonna stand up and grow some daggone nuts and stop letting these people use you for experiments with they wicked tales y'all know what this thing is man and i speak passionately like this because i see these guys i know what you're thinking you done worked so hard for something your whole life. You finally here to attain it. And guess what? The same people we worked hard for and did all that our entire life. Guess what they do? They turn around and them same people is going to still try to destroy you regardless. You want to know why? Because you forgot your first love. Your heritage has been stripped from you. That is why. And the only way to do that is to return to the covenant. This is the last Days we living in. The hell with they damn football. Straight up, man. I hope that somebody in that league can hear this video 
this 10 minute video and think to themselves, I am not gonna be fueled for their fire any longer. It's time for that fire to be put out. I guarantee you this, if all y'all stand up and stop depending on the NFL PA, who you know ain't never had your back, just go look at the uh, uh, lockout from years ago. If y'all stand up and say, we done, I bet you this, they will bend in any direction to get y'all back on the fields. They're they going to forget about a vaccine. They're going to make exceptions. They're going to do whatever they can to get y'all back on that field. Y'all going to get everything you want. I guarantee you. You watch what I tell you. Just do that. And let's see where it goes. Let's just see where it goes. Simple enough. It's simple enough. This world ain't nothing without Israel. Whether you know who you are or not, it was created for you. It ain't nothing without us. Never has been, never will be. Because the most high y'all chose us. He called us. Let me say it that way. Because many are called, only few chosen. Because the thing is, is a lot of y'all ain't willing to count them calls and stand up. But let's see who does it. Bless y'all.